The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Unu Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. What's happening with the Facebook Live? Hey everybody, it's Maria from What's the Story with Maria. How's it going? Oh my God, we already started our show before the show started. It's crazy up in here. I have Chris DePiro, my Hello. friend for many Yay. years and Yankee fan. Yep, yep. yep there he is. And uh, I am wearing my Red Sox shirt. Uh, Chris said, you know, the the, uh, the it's spring training is here and I, I'm, that's it. We're going for it. It was his idea. Great idea. <laughs> And we are being upstaged completely, even with our shirts, by the lovely, gorgeous upstage. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Silvana Mastrolia, and she is Joe Rocks. I don't know where you are. I hope you check in because I think Joe Rocks will really appreciate. There he Joe is, Joe Rock. Yeah, Joe Rocks of Night Talk. Hi, Joe, Joe Rocks. Rock. There he is. Um, That's a cool name. Yeah, that is Joe a cool name. Joe Rocks. <laughs> Joe Rocks, right? So, so Silvana brought her two friends. She so. brought her two friends for you, Joe. <laughs> So welcome, Silvana, and her two little friends. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Josephino, you need cream. Yes, thank you. I told these guys, saw your promo today at Joyce's Unisex Salon, 132 Ferry Street in Everett. So Joe is at the salon getting his hair done, and Gina and Joyce both told him, you cannot, you got to call Maria for skincare. You cannot wash your face with shampoo, for the love of God, Joe. And then I heard you were washing your junk, as you said. So I have... I am I am prepared. Joe, I sell Rodan and Feel skincare. It's the number one skincare in the country. And this is the package, no pun intended, <laughs> that you are going to get if you order through me. We're going to talk. We're going to set this up for you. You're going to be the hottest guy in town. No more dry skin. No more shampoo on your face or junk or anywhere else. You're going to get this package, and it's going to come with, watch, Joe. I'm going to show you what you're going to get in your package. Again, no pun intended in that package. I'm digging through your package right now, Joe. And as I dig through your package, look at this. You're going to start with the mask. That's huge. Yeah, this is a huge mask. So you're going to start with your cleansing mask. You're going to put the leave that on for two minutes. Ooh. That is going to exfoliate, get rid of all that junk. And then you're going to throw on your toner, Joe. Look at this. That's going to tighten your skin. You're going to look like you're 25 after this. And then, wait a minute. In the morning before you leave the house, you're going to put on your AM cream. This has SPF in it. Not only are you going to be moisturized, you're going to be protected from sun damage. Holy. Holy is right. And at night before you go to bed with your hot girl, you're going to throw on some more moisturizer for nighttime cream. And over the next eight hours, you're going to wake up. You're going to be a prince among princes. Do you hear what I'm saying? So Joe rocks and all his friends that are worried about their faces and junk. Now, don't put this on your junk for the love of God. There's another <laughs> product for that somewhere. This is what you're going to get. Go. Got She's got some in a purse. She's got some. Yeah. That's, oh, no, Lou, what? Oh, no, never mind. So this is for you, Joe, okay? Redefine. Rodana feels redefine is your, is your uh, skin care regimen. I've picked it out for you. We'll talk on the phone. And then you're going to take a before picture. And then a month later, you're going to take an, an, you're going to see how young and beautiful you're going to look. Oh. So let's, wow, was, Gina, yes, nice. I had to do it. Let me say hello to everybody. First of all, let me tell you, please, please share this. If you're watching this right now, please go ahead and share it on your page. Let your friends know about it. So Joe Savino, of course, is here. Edie Gershman is here. Uh, I was with Edie today. She's my Rodana Fields business partner. Gina Savino. My cousin, every time she comes home, we get a clap. Gina Savino is here. Yes, yeah, she's so hot. Oh, my God. Oh, hi. Listen, I don't know. She yeah. might be married, but you guys would really get along. I think she is. Yeah, but she would really like you, Chris. Gina, next time you come to town, you'll meet Chris. All right. Um, so Gina's here. Eddie Kutu is here of Blade Salon in Old Westfield, Connecticut. Gina and Joyce, of course, 132 Ferry Street. Everett Mass, they have uh, Joyce's Unisex Salon. Okay, Rena Crugnali Berge, she is our meteorologist. She called in last week because it was a nor'easter, nah. and yeah. she told us about that. That's uh, Paul Lucas is here. 
Hello, Paul Lucas. He's an amazing uh, producer, playwright, all kinds of things. So, hello. these are our people that are checked in. We're going to have so many. If you see your friends, please uh, feel free to say hello to them. If you're well, listening live on the radio, you don't, you don't know if you can see. That's all right. You don't have to. You, you know, when, you, when you're pretty, you don't have to see. Don't Am I right, Chris? When you're yes. pretty, you don't have to see. I wouldn't know that. Much. All right. So, uh, as you say, as we we told you, Sylvana is here. She is an actress extraordinaire, comedian, oh. and um, and what did you say? She's a actress. Actress. Joe, she's a actress. Have you ever heard of that? She's famous in Jersey. In Jer- yeah. She's Jersey famous, and that's pretty big. <laughs> no pun intended. Again, you know things are big when you're famous in Jersey. <laughs> We need some rim shots tonight, right? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> All right, so uh, Silvana, you you uh, I thought you were originally at Tony and Tina's wedding because uh, so many of our friends are, yeah. but because I would have placed you in there in two seconds. But you met Chris completely yeah. at a different time, and you were in his movie, and were yeah. very funny in that movie, right? So I, tell me, I tell me know. about some of the stuff that you've done as an actress. Um. Well, I I I did a lot of uh, stage, straight theater. Um, I I used to do like very serious roles, like No Exit by Dean Paul Sartre and uh, Rabbit. Hole. What was your character? What were your characters like in those? Oh, Estelle. I played a character by the name of Estelle, and it was, and what like, was she a like? fun room in hell. She was uh, ethereal. Uh, she was, you know, just a sexy, lovely lady. Sexy, went, lovely lady. She went to hell because she uh, went to hell because she was, she was dirty. An affair oh her man, I didn't know about the hell and, thing. Uh, she got pregnant and had a child. Jesus and Christ, she was busy. A cliff, she was busy. A child, an infant, and it was like really, you know, serious role. Oh my anyway. God! So all right, so you she was doing all that, and then you met Chris DePiro. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris DePiro. So I was doing a lot of different kind of theater work, and then uh, Chris does a lot of different. What's the theater company work for? Uh, yeah, one of my I favorite, think I liked it. One of my I like the page. Ever is uh, in Fairland, New Jersey, called Radburn Theater. A shout out to Dave Ferrano, who I just awesome watched. All awesome right, spell guy. the theater name. Spell it. It's, uh, Gina Savino has said, "Love them already and thrown kisses." Now, oh, Gina likes you. Oh, Gina, oh, I'm Gina, telling you, Gina, you, you can fit right in here tonight. <laughs> She's fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. So where were we? <laughs> we were at the. Well, spell the name of the theater. That oh, you, Radburn. Where were we? In Fairlawn, New Jersey. Oh, I know it's, Fairlawn. Uh, Radburn, R A D B U R N. All right. Um, and they and they put on fantastic, fabulous uh, productions, and um, I did a lot of shows with them, and it was just wonderful. Okay, so so go and check that out. Uh, our friend Leo Rodriguez sometimes checks in. I call him my intern because he, if he hears something, he'll post it. Mm-hmm. So as he comes on, maybe we'll tell him again and he can post it. Leah Sutton, she's in Florida. She was one of my first people I met in New York City when I got here in 1990. She is a producer, um, uh, manager, all kinds of things. She she can make someone um, famous. Oh. Trust me. She can make, <laughs> and she has made people famous. And I just love her. She's my friend. So... Um, Michael Gargani has joined us. Jay Rivera Hi, has joined us. Gargani. Happy birthday. It's Michael I Gargani's birthday. It oh, was. my God. When was it? Yesterday? Um, it was. Uh, Let's make it all yeah. week. Michael Gargani, your birthday will be all week. That's right. Julia Angelina has joined us. Hi, Julie. Good morning, guys, from Australia. Wow. Good morning, Michael. I know. This is I'm really. Not gonna say it. What are you going to say? Down under? Yes, I knew it. Um, <laughs> That's the joke, right, Julie? They can't stop with the dead. I thought of it, but you know, I sent to myself. Well, I now. felt it. I felt it through Silvana, because Silvana to me looks like a, a fortune teller. Yeah. She's got that gypsy vibe, right? Uh, uh, gypsy tramps with the lovely. Le- Remember oh, in the '70s, share, wow. they share gypsy tramps and thieves. <laughs> they heard it from the people of the town. They <laughs> called us gypsy tramps and thieves. Would... Silvana, you remind me of that song. Oh, and uh, uh, David Slauson has joined. I want to be famous. David, you may already be famous in your part. Well, What's he, up, Jay? I'm sorry. Hello, oh, Jay's been, great. You can jump know, in any time awesome you now. want. Um, okay, so Hi, now you, when you did Chris's movie, uh, Miami or Bust, the Hoboken Bet. <laughs> so a friend of ours introduced us. She said he does his... <laughs> What did she say? Because it's funny face. No, keep going. Keep going. Plow through. Plow through. Oh, plow through. Yeah. So, Don't be distracted so by his beauty. 
I remember I told you, you gotta look at him through the ear, because Silvana, well, you can't turn around. Rules. Okay, I keep did you guys rules. smoke a blunt before you came? No, no. not once. No, I mean, not no. blunt. Oh, no, something. No, no, nothing like that. They're, they're, oh, that's right. You're a teacher. That's right. Meg, Peg Gallagher is joining us. Hello, Meg. Hello, Hi, Meg. And uh, so, okay, you guys did the, the. So then she introduced us, and then he made. I, I went to the auditions, and then he put me in the movie, and then he cut me out of the movie. What? But, or threatened to many times. Uh, <laughs> Did you? Were you like this, shaking your movie. fist? One thing about that movie, uh, Maria. I, I, you know what? I, I love that movie. Any actress that I wanted, I had a million girl roles in that movie. I don't want just girls. In I that know movie. they were throwing themselves at you. If they too. got on the casting couch, nope. I took all my friends, all the beautiful girls I knew that I couldn't have sex with. Oh and my! And that brought them in. You there. know what? You, I think you like to torture yourself I don't because know. you do surround yourself with very, very beautiful, voluptuous women. And look at you see you just did that <laughs> uh, you did that thing. What's that? I, whoa, that's my, my, dad, my dad. I know, I know. Hey, shout out that's to your right. dad who's a vet. Yep. Right? He's a retired veteran. Say, hey, yes. Joe. We hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Heading over to uh, um, Korea, and they ended the war while he was on the boat. No. Over there, and they went to Japan instead, and he worked. Uh, hung out in Japan for. Oh, well, maybe they were afraid of him. I think that they were like, "Shit, Joe." Jip Shapiro's on his way. Yeah. End this war right now because hell's going to break loose. Yeah. Man, Might have I, been I, it. I want to doubt it. Yeah. You know. So he uh, he's very serious about the armed forces. I see all his uh he's always wearing the hats and the, the gear and oh, everything. He's yeah. So he's really cute. He's so yeah. cute. And he was in your movie. He was too. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. You got your dad. Say, uh, say hey Joe. Say hey Joe. Say hey Joe. That was hey. his character name. Yeah. All right. So uh, what are you working on now, Chris? I know you're working on the new movie, right? Yeah. We um, I'm working on a sequel. We shot the last scene first. In a traditional, the pure way, and uh, I try. Is, there, to is there a reason you do that? Because I, I love that you do. But is there well, a I had the great Mark Nasser in town. Oh, and he uh, it was the character that I had to do the last scene with. Okay. So I said, Mark, we got to do it, and he was there on his anniversary, his uh, wedding anniversary. And his his wife was pissed, wife. right? No, she, oh, was she was good. good. She was awesome, but she, you know, she wanted to, you know, travel around the city and ride yeah. the bikes and see what they. And they said we'll do it really early in the morning, and we went to Hoboken and. Uh, we shot it there, and I jumped into the Hudson River. Oh, I saw that footage. Yeah, that yeah. Crazy. So that was crazy. Did, did you get arrested for that? Did somebody come and try to get you out? Because I no, no. I one can't, guy. This guy jumps in water all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up with that? You always in all your movies, you're jumping in water and I know, I almost know. getting arrested. Yeah. No, wow. Just, it's the thrill. There was a few people down. <laughs> one guy asked Let's jump in water tonight after the show. Wanna? Oh. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know how to swim. East Who? River. Doesn't matter. East River, yes. We'll jump in the tub. Who cares? <laughs> Chris will save you. Just, you know, you just jump, jump in. Out. Just no, jump in. just jump in. Yeah. Uh, okay, Gianna has joined us. Hi, Gianna. Hi, Gianna. That is Gina Savino's daughter. Oh, She's Chocolatina. Chocolatina, Q yeah. dessert. Hi, Hi, oh my God. Hi, and Mary Savino has joined awesome. us. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our show. So this is what's the story with Maria and um, uh, Chris and I are. Uh, we're very good friends, but we are on rival teams. Yes. And uh, he is a diehard Yank fan. I am a diehard Red Sox fan. And uh, uh, Chris, it was Chris's idea for us to wear our shirts, and I'm so glad we did. Wow. Uh, Solana, you don't need. Nobody it. told you don't me need about it. the costume party. No, you don't. You <laughs> you bring the costume. She thinks a Yankee is a fluffer in a porn film. It, it might be. <laughs> it, hey, that's not a bad idea. You know what? Maybe it is, and that's all you need to know, Solana. That's as much. Don't worry about sports. Although, so listen, I, I, I we want to go through this for a second. So listen, I want to talk about quickly because it is spring. Spring uh, training is happening right now, and opening days around the corner. Am I right? Yeah, it's Thursday, really. Uh, Thursday's opening day for the yeah, Yankees. Yeah, for um, some of the teams. Wow. The Yankees will be playing in uh, Toronto. I think you'll be opening in beautiful. Uh, uh, Fenway Park. Yes. Uh, all right. And so uh, some of our starting pitchers on the Red Sox, Rick Porcello, Stephen Wright, David Price, and Chris Sale. Who do you got for starting pitchers there? But that's a starting, that's a lineup? That's the uh, starting uh, pitching staff? What do you mean, is that a lineup? Chris Sale just got hit in the, the hip. He's going to be out for 8 to 12 weeks. And then come back oh, at the end just in time for the... It was all like hours, but... Yeah, but... <laughs> Just in time for the playoffs. This, I don't mind when people are injured at the uh -huh. beginning of the season. If you're going to get injured, that's the, if you're going to fall down something or hurt something or break a hip, that's the time to do it. Am I right? Beginning of the season, Silvana, if you ever break a hip, do it at the beginning. That way you you know, you know slide into the playoffs fine. Yeah. And, the batter and, hit a line drive right into his hip. I'm glad he's all right. I really do glad because I want to beat a healthy Red Sox team. Yeah, you don't want to beat a... 
I, well, I will Did say, you see a lineup, though? Did I you actually, see everybody in a lineup? I have seen. Go ahead, read yeah. me some of the people on your. Read me some of your starting pictures. Well, we Can got you, CC is going to come back for at least one more year, and he's well, got a lot in the tank. Now, CC, I, I don't know about what you think of this, but I think he's got a li- something. He's ready to snap. No, he's not ready to snap. He's got it all together. All right. Yeah. He, you know, a couple of years ago, he's ready to snap. That's why. But he's all right now. Yeah, yeah. He's all right. Well, he's snap. a very amazing pitcher. I will say. I'm look. I'm a Red Sox fan, but I'm a fan of baseball. Me too. And I appreciate players. And uh, yeah, CC's a great pitcher. Yeah. Uh, Jessica Schaefer has joined us. Let me see. I'm trying to scroll down here because we got a lot of people that join us. All right. Um, so. You think we're 50-50 with fans out there? We got half Boston. Half you know Boston. what? Yes, because most of my, I mean, I know, okay. Yeah, if you're if you're listening, just either write Red Sox or Yankees, whoever your team is, and let's see what we got here. Because we're broadcasting live out of New York, but we are, uh, I am from Massachusetts originally, and Armed Radio is originally out of Massachusetts. So this could go either way. But if as the show progresses and you want to vote, Yankee or Red Sox? Just type in Yankees or Red Sox. I, you might be right on this one, Chris DePiro. Yeah. I don't know. Who's your team, Silvana? You have a team? Um, both teams. No. I, I, you know what? That wouldn't surprise me, and I think it would delight most people. Yeah. I think I think everybody. I think everybody needs a chance to win. <laughs> everybody deserves a chance to play. Oh my god! It doesn't matter if you win; it's how you play the game. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. All right. So so far we got uh, two Yankees, one Red Sox. Okay. Joe Dallow. Who's wow. Joe Dallow? Joe your Dallow, friend? Yeah, he's an awesome, awesome comedian. He was uh, Tony Tina's guy. Played Barry in Times Square with us. We really had a great run together. He was a fabulous Barry. Yeah. yeah all right, yeah. Joe Dallow. Nice to meet you, yeah, sir. Did a lot of work with Barry's. Uh, are, they always are very interesting characters, aren't they? Yeah. They always have an edge. Does he have an edge, this guy? He does. Yeah. yeah. He had the long hand, and he cut it short. Really great stand up. Eileen it. Donovan says Yankees. Gina Savino on, says Red you. Sox. Oh my God. Uh, Edie says Red Sox. Thank you, Edie. So we get so far. I think we're tied. I think you might have one ahead. Yeah. So we're getting ready for spring training. It's always so cold though. You go. You ever go to an opening day game? Yes, I did. You wow. freeze your your whatever off. A uh, real you? quick story. I went yeah, to please. the opening day uh, the the year after the, Reggie Jackson hit the three home runs. Yeah. Against the Dodgers, and the next year I went to opening day. There was seventy eight. Yeah. Seventy eight. Se- right. Yeah. Seventy eight. Yeah. See, I know my baseball. Yeah, you do. That's right. And right. uh, he came up the bat the fourth time in a row, and he hit a home run the first time he came up, Reggie Jackson. Really? So he had four home runs in a row. Wow. Everybody starts throwing Reggie bars onto the field. Oh, uh, I love Reggie, Reggie bars. bars. You know how many of those I ate as a kid? All over the place. <laughs> YouTube the uh, oh Reggie bars. You'll see today. Oh, that my was, God. My took me. What a fantastic Reg- person my father. Your father's a great guy. Yeah. My grandfather, that's how my grandfather was. He used to take us to baseball games. Uh-huh. He would take all 10 of us. He had 10 grandchildren. He would take all 10 of us. I don't know how the hell he did it. All right. First, we would go to get something to eat. Then we would go to the game. And uh, it was crazy because some of the kids would be crawling around and like little cockroaches. You had to put them back <laughs> in seats. And, but those were fun days. It was fun when you could afford to take your kids or grandkids to a yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is now, but it's crazy. Have you yeah, ever you been to a game so far? Anymore. Yes. You like games? Yes, I You do. enjoy them? Yes, I do. What do you partake in when you go? What's, what's, your, food, what's your beverage and food of choice when you go to a game? I, I like to drink beers and eat hot dogs. Why not? That's like, what's <laughs> better than that? What's better than that? I like that, too. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good dog, right? Yeah, oh, delicious. The sauerkraut. Nice. You go for the sauerkraut. I yes. like that. That says a lot about you. That means you take risks. Yes. Your sauerkraut Definitely. people take risks. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. I usually get the ketchup and the relish and the mustard. I'm like your standard. But uh, I eat so many Reggie. Oh, Jay Rivera. Yeah. I would eat so many Reggie bars. Actually, me too. Even though I was in Boston, but I liked it. They were round, right? Right. And they were crunchy. Crunchy I, orange package. Yeah. And I had him swinging. Yeah. What was his nickname? Mr. October, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But but from what I hear, that you didn't get along so good with management. Is that true? Um. Which management back then was he crazy? You didn't get along with Billy Martin. I remember that. Do you remember the light beer that. commercials? Oh, that's a good shirt. <laughs> Thank you. That's a really good shirt. Much better than that uh, hack. Uh, Fisk. Thank Who? You guys. Fisk is the greatest. Oh, I have the wait. What? I got the Fisk thing up there. I got Can't the bobblehead. I'm going to have to get my Fisk bobblehead. Oh, my Williams. God. You know what? I might have to get I it. love that. Show, yeah. By the way, it's so cool. Aww. Thank you. Sylvana appreciates my Red Sox shelf. Awesome. Let me just show you guys. Okay, I'm going to pan. That's my Red Sox shelf. Look at all Red Sox 
bobbleheads and memorabilia there, and Carlton Fisk is up there. Are you kidding me? Overrated. All right. Overrated. He was oh, fantastic. Lou Remember Pinella that? Beat him up. Lou Pinella is a, a, a <laughs> is an <laughs> alky. <laughs> oh, who, who was? It? Yeah, he's crazy. They're all crazy. Anyway, he beats everybody up. I think he beat up an old lady. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. He yeah, in the parking lot. Manager. Yes. Absolutely. But I like that. I like when somebody goes off the deep end. Yeah. Hi, Judy Dom. Judy you is the gorgeous. gorgeous. Holy smokes. Thank Look at you. That picture over there. Holy smokes, Judy. That's my. She that brought two friends, friends too. Uh, she brought always, always. <laughs> it's important. It's important. So, Judy has joined us. Renee, Lord, I, my friend, teacher, we went to the march together. This weekend, we were at the March for Our Lives together. That was really fun. All the teacher friends mm -hmm. were, ha ha wait, what's happening over there? You guys are having way too much fun. Judy, I invited you. You would love Judy. Judy, I invited you over dinner. I made Hi, chicken. Judy. I'll talk about what I made in a minute because we'll talk about the. And we got pastries. Pastry. From, from Tell. Spoli. You know what? Let's fly right into the food section of the show because I'm starving. Okay, so this is the part of the show that I call, go ahead, keep eating. I All love right. that. Yeah, thank wow, you so much. I love so I made, and I just made it, chicken marsala, delicious with, with mushrooms and red peppers and uh, marsala and all kind of chicken stock. Oh, my God, you're going to freak out. This is so good. I almost ate it before the show. And then I, I put it on a bed, as they say in the restaurant world, a bed of spaghetti. So this is just spaghetti number nine. That's it. Spaghetti <laughs> number nine. Nice. Yes, wonderful. isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. Thank wow. You. And then, of course, we have, you know, I like a nice salad. I always enjoy a nice salad. And uh, we got the salad with the cucumbers and the Boston lettuce. So I nice. chose Boston lettuce oh boy. tonight for um, my Red Sox and some red peppers and some cucumbers. So <laughs> there, there was no Yankee lettuce. It was just Boston lettuce. And then for dessert, I did... Bring this, and I have a gigantic bag oh, of, of Easter candy. You're so sweet. No, thank you so much. No need here to go for on a scavenger hunt. I will not. You got them right here. You don't have to look for them in the couch or anywhere else. Right here. Let me just eat them. Because when you get older, you don't want to look for shit. All right. Please tell me about the pastries. Yes. The pastries are from Rispoli's in uh, beautiful Richfield, New Jersey. Oh, my God. Since 1937, they must be very tired. <laughs> and, uh, I, I just got a few of my favorite, the mini ones. Oh, I love, we got eclairs, we got cannoli, spogliadel. <laughs> I love saying that, spogliadel. <laughs> Only the real Italians know how to say that. Yeah. Well, yeah, give me the spogliadel. What do you guys get? I'll get a cannoli. No, I like the spogliadel. I said give me a few of those. And then, what, what are these called? I forgot. Uh, the pico cold and cotties. The what? Some, uh, <laughs> Uh, Let me show them to my like brother. Cream pies. Do you know maybe Joe Ross knows because yeah, he loves knows. pastry. Joe, what are these things called? Do you know? If anybody knows what these are called. Piacotis. Piacotis? All right. So <laughs> <laughs> type it in if you know what these are called, Joe, because Joe knows all these pastries. He's like me. We like to eat. All right, but Greg. Greg, Greg, Greg you, you know Greg? Oh, yeah, no, I know Greg. Oh, my God. So, Greg, Greg has you. Yes. Hi, you Greg. Know, Greg, Greg. About you, Greg. We were talking about Savannah you all the way here. You. I miss you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chris. Uh, uh, no, to he was in Tony Tina's wedding. Was he? He's a great off Broadway actor now. My, your sister had a crush on Jay Rivera says her sister had a crush on Bucky Dent. Bucky oh, Dent yes. are two words we don't use together in Boston. Thank you very much. Well, well. Uh, we just don't say that. We actually we don't put them together. We go uh, Bucky Dent. Yeah. We put a a little a two syllable word in between mm -hmm. Bucky Dent. That it, it's never just been Bucky Dent. Josh Ty has joined us. He's out in Ohio. Uh, uh, let me see. Um, wow, looks great. Thank you, Gina. The pastries do look great. Um, all right, Greg is here. Oh. So many. Anthony Fed has joined us. My God. Hi. Oh, Anthony you know Fett. Anthony, right? Oh, yes. He was Joey. Uh, yes, I and, worked with him in the off-Broadway production of Tony and Tina's Money. He's amazing. He is amazing, and he is an amazing... I was in his Christmas and show. Mm -hmm. I played Santa Claus in his show. It was so much so fun. Awesome. Anthony, as I say, never, ever, ever phones it in. When Anthony's on stage, he is he's 100,000% in it. Pure entertainer. Uh, he really That's is. Pro, yeah. I mean, I've never and seen anything team. like it. Anthony Fett, you want him on your team, man, and, and any way you it's can get him. A chocolate. A chocolate. Who said? Oh, it's Chuck Liddell. Chuck, Chuck Liddell. Oh, wow. oh, Chuck Liddell was a play was a, a player, <laughs> not not a the pastry Chuck Liddell. 
Chuck Liddell was a was a a, a, pl a player. But that you're already eating the desserts. I can't believe it. Hey, come on, I'm sitting next to me. Kian Nelson, Nelson has joined us from Philadelphia. Hi, Kian Nelson. Wow. Emily Bruton Shilly. Hi, Emily. Hi. Emily is my friend. I love her. Emily looks cute. Emily is so cute. She's married. <laughs> Quit it. I, they're all married. They're all married. I know that's what it is. But I don't think Emily would mind if you flirted with her. She's uh, very I cute. Can't. I can't. I can't. She's I can't a. Like the males too much to beat me up. <laughs> No, you're not going to get beat up. You're yeah, not going to get beat up. I'll protect you. Okay. Um, okay, Anthony Fetter, I'm phoning in right now, technically. Do you want to call in, Anthony? If you want to call in, you have my number. I'll put you on speakerphone. Oh, that would be, oh, that would be that. so great. We he love... Out of tune for us. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? Anthony is amazing. And he's such a nice person and such so talented. a nice person. He's from Chicago. His family's from Chicago. They are the nicest people you can imagine. So, Anthony, please call in. A Emily says, hi, Maria, and guess, hi, Emily. Joe hi. Dallow, Mary, you should have seen Chris when he would take a whole piece of cake and eat the whole thing at once during the show. Him? You ate a he, whole piece of he cake? Does all, he probably, he, he yeah. eats everything. He eats big meatballs. He I shoves love it. things in his face oh, and eats them. Well, he, sho he shoves <laughs> big things in his face. <laughs> out of his mouth. Oh, wow. This is going, this is going bad. It's going. Oh, is that We're going into the turnpike. <laughs> Going into the turnpike. Is there any big things I can turnpike do? South. <laughs> turnpike South. Jersey Turnpike South. Oh my God! Wow. Oh my Jersey God! Turnpike Anthony South. Fed is calling. Wow! In. Holy cow! Look, he oh. spelled his uh, name right. First and last name and everything. Tony, how are you? Can you hear us? I can hear you. Oh my wow. God! I'm gonna put. I, I thought I had you on speaker. Apparently now not. Now it's a party. Oh my God! Now it's a party. Let's turn you up. Anthony, how are you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you guys? Um, hi. Oh, Maybe this isn't plugged in. I don't know. Tonight I'm having technical difficulties with this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Maybe that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, so we got Anthony Fett. He was in Tony and Tina's wedding. Yes. Yes. And uh, you played Joey, right, Anthony? Yes. I played Rick and I understudied. He played Rick. Let me put him. All right. I'm going to put him up to the speakerphone. He played Rick and uh, he understudied Joey. Anthony Fett is one of the funniest people you will ever meet in your life. Hilarious. Hilarious. Yes. Just, you know, he, he made it so funny. Yeah. We watched him every night. And I feel like the company that we were in was some of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. And, and brilliant. Brilliant. Chris, I've, I've told you recently, actually, I, I saw a post of yours, and I was saying, and I mean it, how absolutely... Genius, I thought you were. You kind of scared me. You were so. Yeah, Chris is like that. <laughs> he scares you sometimes. Less is more, believe me, in my sense. He's fantastic. Yeah, the more I do, the worse I get. Anthony, I'm going to try to fix this phone thing in, in, in a minute. I, I wanted to put you on speaker, but it's not coming through so well. So thank you for calling in. I'm going to try to fix it, but um, you're going to have to come back on the show. I just wanted to send some love to all of you at my mom and my brother. I'm in Chicago right now. Wait, they're in, you're in Chicago right now? Yeah, I'm in Chicago. My mom says hi. Oh, I hi, love it. Hi, Mrs. Fett. So we're, we're on live around the world. Is, yeah. your, is your brother Timmy there, too? I'm sending you so much love. Say hi to your mother and your brother Timmy and your sister, the whole gang. I love the Fets. They're great. They say hello. Timmy, say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. anniversary today. Who's anniversary? Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey's anniversary. How exciting is that? Did you know that? Yeah. Mrs. Silvana, did you know? <laughs> no. You got like a Mariah Carey. You got like an Italian Mariah Carey vibe going on there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like. Oh, absolutely. Right? You're, you're a hot, hot, hot. <laughs> oh, so are you. Oh, you're so sweet. We love Anthony Fett. All right, Anthony, give your family a kiss for us. We love you, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, I love you. I'm going to keep watching. I love you. Bye, Bye honey. Uh, what the hell is happening with this phone tonight? I, I thought I had it on speakerphone, but... I'll believe you it. No, sometimes it just doesn't always work. No. You know, you can't... Not everything can go right. You know what I'm saying? So we talked about our food uh, already, and um, Silvana, you're Italian, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay, and you speak Italian, right? Yes. Can you imagine all the rednecks right now listening to this show? They're saying, what the hell is going on? They're going to try to deport us now. No. That's what's happening. Once you break into another language, they get, they get a little nervous. They're like, why don't you speak English? What's happening? Yeah, yeah I'm telling you, the police, the, the, the ICE police said, no, we were born here. We were born here. Don't, they go crazy, these people. All right, so let's keep checking in. Best Lee has checked in. Leo Rodriguez has checked in. Yeah, Leo's fantastic. 
Leo is a Dodgers fan, actually. He's what? from California oh. originally. Steve Isaacson. Leo is our, uh, my intern. We call him uh, the intern. He was here last week. He raised hell. So, uh, anyway, so what's happening? You guys have a... Because uh, I, I put on the thing, which I'm hoping I was correct, that you are radio personalities. You have... A show that you do out of Fort Lee, New Jersey. Is that correct? Live from Fort Lee Studios. It's called Live from Fort Lee Studios? That's correct. Wow, that's a catchy oh, name, right? Is it really? Yeah. Because you, you're yeah, like, where's Fort Lee? Yeah. And, and how big is that studio? Um, so I, it's, a, it's an office. It's a well, this is just my office. apartment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but it was just dedicated to be a studio. We've had, uh, uh, but you have, like, the headset and everything. Like, it's yeah, really official a, over there, right? video switcher, so we uh, cut back from uh, cameras that we had set up. And one night we had, I think, like, six cameras set up once. It was crazy. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's just so amazing. I, just to watch him set everything up, it's like, <laughs> he's a genius. He's he very is very brilliant. She's really in your corner, Chris. Yeah. I like that about you so much. Well, You're a good he's friend. Amazing. You're good. Are you, you guys date? What? No. no, you're just friends, right? Yeah. Well, I, and partners, I, like, we collaborate a lot, and we work on a lot of different things, and we have a lot of fun. And, and you have a boyfriend, though, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Fiance. A fiancé? <laughs> when are you getting married? <laughs> I didn't know about <laughs> that. Smile, but... That's exciting. <laughs> I mean, if you like each other, it's yeah, exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes, you know, like, I can imagine that certain people get married, and they're like, oh, they just kind of do it. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. like, I, I'm not going to name anybody famous, but sometimes people marry people for the wrong reasons, like big people, famous people. But you are not marrying your boyfriend. Well, he's not marrying you because you're famous, right? He's, <laughs> he's marrying... He's famous. He's an all-family star. Also. What? Yes. 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 We have to have and him on the show. And he was in Tony and Tina's oh. as well. What? What's yes. his name? Yes, yes. Uh, Greg Deckos. It's a good thing you didn't forget his name. Just for a minute there, I was like, is she going to forget his name? She did. She was like, she was like what, what, what? Wait, what? Greg, what? And then she was like, well, because sometimes he goes Greek? Gregorius. Yeah, so, uh, you know, he's okay. Gregorius. Uh, <laughs> so, all right, Chris, so now yes. you, you filmed the end of your movie. I did. And, and now where do you go from here? In the springtime, I'm going to uh, try and uh, get everybody together. You know, the, the first movie, Miami or Buster Hoboken Bet, there was scenes. You know, scene here, scene here. I get three people, get four people. This is a wedding scene. Right. The whole movie is, is based on the whole movie is a wedding scene. scene. Yeah. So I need all my actors there. I, I, I told you, you know, I'll be there in a second. Oh, and it's yeah, a beautiful absolutely. place where we're going to do it. Oh, right? yeah? Yeah, well, I, I got um, a Blue Eyes restaurant down in Hoboken right outside. What? With a, a, a big patio right on the Hudson River. Oh, my God. Blue so Eyes. Very beautiful. I, yeah. I would, I'm imagining that's for uh, Frank Sinatra. Absolutely. Yeah. Who yeah. was the most famous Hoboken. That's correct. Yeah. Of all time. Yeah. I love that sign as you come over the bridge that says uh, Hoboken, home of baseball. And Frank, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Yeah. And they have Sinatra, Frank Sinatra Way mm-hmm. down Frank there. Frank Sinatra Drive. That's Drive. Right, right on the water. Um, and then uh, his house is not there anymore. Where is uh, it? I, they knocked it down for some reason. Lord knows why. But wow. Uh, they just knocked down Frank Sinatra's house? That's right. If I anybody can't... knows why they did it. Or where, or where it is. It's on Monroe Street, I believe. So, and, uh, wow. It's uh, ironic that it should be. But uh, right next door to is, uh, uh, is uh, from Here to Eternity Lounge. Oh my God! Uh, we have to do a tour of that. Star, I don't know if you saw it in the uh, Miami bus. I have, have a picture of the star, and it says Frank Sinatra lived here and stuff like. that. I love that. Are you gonna? So your movie is gonna be a big wedding, and it's called yes, the name of your second a, movie. Uh, Marriage or bust? A Hoboken wedding. No. Yes. Wow. Yes. So what happens is everybody starts taking bets at the wedding to see how long it's gonna last. Our wedding's gonna, uh, marriage is gonna last. And I find out basically and, that they're uh, doing a bet. Yeah, that's really and crazy. I read everybody the filth, and then uh, the uh, should I give it away? Yeah, I guess you, yeah, whatever. I'm you're the anyway. filmmaker. You're yeah, the writer. It seems like uh, whatever you like. Blue eyes double booked the wedding. There was no. another wedding coming in. Oh no! So uh, the boys get ready to fight, and uh, it don't happen. You know, you kind of like figure it out, but then the girls get to the fight. Oh, I love that! Fight. I love a good girl fight. It's just the whole <laughs> your you know, last movie. Oh my god, that girl fight scene! Was that Wasn't it wow. amazing? Um, it there was, was like so eight crazy. girls literally uh, in a like throwdown. Christine Barilli, Rossi, yeah. Rossi Barilli. I'm sorry, yeah. Susanna Melendez, Denise Fennell, Susan Davis, Susan yeah. Davis, um, Maria Barada. Oh my what god! A, what a cast! I what a cast you had! You, your movie was one. Talented, funny person after another. It was just like you if you couldn't have fit one more talented person in there. Yeah. Unbelievable. And that's just maybe so Joe Rocks. 
Joe Rocks has been in the sequel. He can yeah, you can be in the sequel. He might have to be, yeah, somewhere. He'll just like cameo or something. Oh, yeah. Because he's very big. It's hard to get him, you know. Well, everybody gets guess. hit over the head with a wedding gift. Oh, so, my God. Yeah. Joe, what do you want to get hit over the head with? <laughs> just think about it. Give it some thought. All right, so Kevin Scott Collins has joined us. Yvette Bloom has joined us. Phillies, oh my God, the Phillies, good. Who Lord. said? Who? Oh uh, well, some Kevin people like. Listen, you guys won the the uh, the Super Bowl. Now you're t you're. Oh yeah. So you're good for a while, I think. Right for every sport. And every everything. sport, yeah, I'm you gotta. Philly. Although one year the Red Sox, 2004, did win the World Series and the Patriots. I'm just saying. Some I like to throw out those stats. Yeah. Since you guys are always like twenty six World Series. Red Sox fans always kind of bringing the Patriots into that. You, it's part of the whole you know? beauty of it. <laughs> so well, you're not a, even a Giants fan. You're no. a Redskins fan. Yeah, yeah. Go now, how did that happen? I like the Indian on the side of the helmet. My father told me when I was young. Well, you, just and that's it. Yeah. That's cute, right? That's, cute. that's yeah. why I would like a team too. Yeah, for the logo. <laughs> Who's your team, uh, Silvana? Uh, Not the Indian heads, no. That, let's just, yeah. Is that, wow. is that yes. she, li she likes the Washington Redskins, too. All right, good. All right, so listen, now we're going to get a, uh, just a tiny bit serious for a minute because I want to do a little um, I want to do a little tribute to our friend, and, and you're going to do most of it. The, um, one of our Tony and Tina's, uh, we had a crazy uh, couple of months, Tony and Tina's family. We lost Jackie Carroll, who was in, uh, I did a whole tribute, Susie and I did a tribute, uh, to her on the show, and just recently, one of her great guys. Now, Jackie was in your movie, mm -hmm. and we just and and Jimmy Hendrix was in your movie. That's correct. And <clears throat> Jimmy uh, just recently. This is Jimmy Hendrix. He's our friend, amazing actor. Oh, yeah. He was in Tony and Tina's. He was in uh, your movie. He was in a ton of stage. He was in Mayor's Limo, which Mark Nasser wrote and was in. What a great job. What a great job. You posted something. I'm going to post it up. I'm going to post it again, the whole thing. Yeah, and uh, Jimmy, when I first started Command Tony... Commander USA also. Commander USA. What, com what was that, Commander USA? He used to do... Uh, USA Network used to run uh, a movie every week or so, and he used to introduce the movie as like a uh, down-and-out superhero. Oh, right! Hilarious stuff. Is that just a New York thing, or was that, like, national? I'm not, I, I, I don't even know, I don't know. Oh, Commander USA, we'll have to look that up. Go on YouTube and Google, they, someone just posted, I put it on my Facebook page, a tribute to Commander USA, and he was recognized by Gilbert Godfrey's podcast. Really? Yeah, they uh, mentioned him, that he passed away. So we want to talk about Jimi Hendrix, he was an amazing, funny super intelligent guy, like really intelligent. He used to give me math problems, like uh, math riddles, not math problems because I'm not good, but riddles. Like, uh, And then he would say, okay, see who could figure it out. And then I always had to write everything down. And then I, I usually would get it if I wrote it down. He'd say, see how smart you are, Maria? And I always felt so great. Um, and I, I would just, you know, it, it's when I started the show, then he came in a little bit after. And, you know, he was on this commercial for uh, a, a product, um, a store called The Wiz, which was like Best Buy That's back true. then. And he was the guy that would say, nobody beats The Wiz. <laughs> so he, to me, was like, I, I, I don't know, I was in my late 20s. I was like, oh, my God, that's the nobody beats The Wiz guy. <laughs> you know, like I thought that was yeah. such a big deal. So that was Jimi Hendrix, amazing actor. And uh, Denise Fennell said that yeah. she gave, remember, you, you, she gave him three pieces of advice when she first started acting. Yeah. Do you remember what those were? About? I do. Go ahead. Uh, tell us. Memorize your lines, be on time, and act like that person. Act or like... Be the, per, be the guy. Be the guy. Meaning be the girl or be the guy. Just right. Be the person in that. And uh, that she, she's like, that's all I needed to know. Um, she wrote a beautiful tribute. So, Jimi Hendrix, we love you. We know you're up there with Jackie Carroll. Uh, definitely drinking some whiskey and... With Smoke. His beautiful wife too. Carmen. Yes, Carmen, who uh, we lost a couple years ago. Uh, Bobby Oliver. Bobby Oliver. Oh my yeah. God! If there's a Tony and Tina heaven, yeah, they're having some fun up there. Oh, magic. So we wanted to do a tribute to to them. And um, now, how do you? I know this is serious, but how do you? They were both in your first movie. How do you deal with the challenge now of of that? Have you thought about that? Um, I thought about you right away. I was like, they were both in your movie. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't you don't know. have to solve it now, I guess, right? It'll solve itself, maybe. I guess so. Um, you know, 
I know. I didn't mean to, to make to get serious. I was just thinking about that. And these are some of the things, you know, what this show is about is the creative process. And these are some of the things that come up sometimes in the creative process. You're in the middle of a project and something changes, mm -hmm. you know, whether it, you know, sometimes people move out of the country. Sometimes, sadly, people pass away. Sometimes people are no longer available. They're working on another project. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people start their own projects. Some people want to get out of the business. And, uh, you know, as a, someone that's, that's in the middle of a project, you have to kind of go the other way. But you've always been someone that has kind of rolled with what's happening, right? Like even Miami Bust, you said you didn't even know sometimes what the end was going to be. Yeah. Or you knew the end, but you didn't know what was going to be in the middle. Right, yeah. When I did that, I wrote the end of the movie first, and I worked backwards from it. I knew they had a meet down in, uh, in Miami. I had to get to that monument mm -hmm. on Ocean Drive by a certain time. And I said, okay, I got the end of the movie. Now, well, why did I have to get there? You know, I came home and I wrote, you know, 70 pages in three nights. That's is, what I did. And, is your new screenplay completely written? Uh, my average of bust isn't, but uh, Go Go Boy is. Go Go Boy? What's yes. this? I don't Go -Go know of Go Go Boy. Go Go Boy is. You have yeah. something up your. Did you know about Go Go Boy, Silvana? Yes. Yeah. You did? <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't say a word to me? I can't believe it. Silvana! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god she is holding she's holding her cards close to her vest i'm telling you <laughs> all right J who else we got That's here greg. Greg is who's greg who's greg oh her boyfriend so your significant other. significant other he said exactly Hi, so i don't know what exactly too but <laughs> I, I appreciate that you said exactly i like that mm -hmm. greg we'll have to meet greg sometime he's i like his name it's really sexy oh he's awesome yeah i can't wait to meet him he's we'll have to have guy. is he like sick dark hair. Oh, yeah? yeah? How'd you meet him? I like this. Is there a good story? Uh, yeah, it's good. We were just we in the book in years ago. It was so many years ago, like 12 years ago. Like yeah, but you remember it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, ooh, he's hot. And That's he thought you were hot. <laughs> I like that. That's a real romantic story. Ooh, he's hot. Listen, you cut to the chase. I like that. Now, all my cousins are out there. Do you, don't you think Silvana reminds you of Rosa Avendanza, my cousin Rosa Avendanza? Who's now? Really? Gonna... Her name is Rosa? My middle name is Rosanna. No. <laughs> yes. So I... sometimes her sister Joanna Avendanza comes on. You remind me of my cousin Rosa. We have had laughs and laughs and laughs. The twin has joined us. Jake, uh, how do you pronounce this name? Do you guys know this Jake person? Uh, Jake. Uh, wow, that's a French name I'm thinking, right? Yeah. All right, that's, that's sexy. Yeah. Denise Fennell just joined us. Hi. We were just talking about you, Denise. We just told a great story. And uh, uh, Don Wisman has joined oh, Denise us. Denise is actually the reason why I'm in Tony and Tina's wedding. So. Oh, Denise, Denise said go Red Sox. Yay, thanks, Denise. Another one. So you, Denise is the reason you were, we were in Tony and Tina's wedding. Tell me about that. So Denise, um, she had to pick a sister. And that she, she said, oh, she's cute. I, like that. I, I, I'm not sure exactly how it went, but uh, she asked me if I wanted to audition for it, and I was... Um, How did you know Denise? Were you just friends? I, I met her through knowing, working on Chris's movie together. No. Yes. <laughs> uh, working on Totally Too Into the Time Machine with your brother who got cast in that. My the nephew. The nephew, I'm so sorry. Wow, there's a lot of, you guys are doing a lot of things. Oh, that's how. You yeah, that's how. Jerry. Who's Jerry? Jerry Mistrolia, he's my nephew. Oh, he's, oh, he's Hi, great. Yeah. He, yeah, he's, he's um, the one you a cabaret, an actor, really? a singer, he's got shows that he wrote. Oh, I can't wait to meet him. Yeah. He sounds fun. He is very fun. Now, speaking of which, um, Chris, because a lot of people, it's in the family, the entertainment thing. Mm -hmm. Now, is there anybody in your family that's famous or, or that is just a comedian or an actor before you or are you the first one? Because uh, your nephews are pretty funny. I've yeah. seen your nephews on Facebook. Right, yeah. I think they have the gene. Yeah. Um, my my uh, older nephew, JR, he's a writer. He writes for uh, uh, Dante. Dante Sports. Oh, cool. And, uh, yeah, yeah, he does a basketball uh, blog. Oh, He's wow. I, I don't know where he, got, he gets his in, proper English from because it's not for me. Right, that's yeah. all right. With not I everybody, we can't all have it. He's all about swimming now, is, is uh, Jake. He's a fantastic swimmer. But no, my, Is my his dad, last name the same as yours? Or? Yeah, Jake DePiro and J.R. DePiro. Okay, so uh, we'll we, can look him, we can look him up. And Brianna Madison is my, uh, my niece. Too. Oh, okay. Like wow, I can't believe your nephew is that. He's old, like to me, he's always little. When I, when you know your friends and you see their like nephews and nieces, they're always t little, and people mm -hmm. just. And you, where, where do you get your talent from, uh, Silvana? Oh. Australia. 
Oh, from, from, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm talented, really. Of course you're talented. You're here. You wouldn't be on, what's the story with Maria if you weren't talented? Are you kidding me? What, what do I want on talented people for? I don't know. Just ask me the question. People are begging to be on the show. I'm oh, sick of I'm it. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, of course. I'm so happy. And I'm I so want... mesmerized. You're so amazing. Oh, oh thank you. Beautiful. Mesmerized. You I don't so know. Much. See, Anthony knows Jerry. Anthony knows Jerry? Yeah. Anthony Fed? Anthony oh, he Fett. just said Jerry with yeah. an. A, a, he loves Jerry. Well, it, Jerry Mastrolia. Yes, you should. And be he's a, even he's worked with. Uh, he he's also in Tony and Tina's wedding, and he played, he, Joey. He's, he played Joey. Oh my and, god! Um, um, How cool! And I think Mrs. V, and um, also he does things with uh, Susan Campanero as well. Susie, six she, degrees of Susan Stonewall, Campanero. At the Stonewall, they did things together. Um, oh really? He, he was Liza, and she was. Oh my god! Susan. I have to look. <laughs> she was Lavinia. No, Lavinia, Lavinia, Lavinia. <laughs> <laughs> My God! And Lavinia uh, Draper, Lavinia Draper, Lavinia Draper. I just remember coming to the show and hanging out at the duplex and watching you two guys work down there, Maria. It was just those were the days, baby, when it was me, you Susie, guys the crowd. I was telling so me, much. Susie, and Michael Isaacs. That yeah, was the yeah. best Friday night. Unbelievable! What a man. team we had! It, it was, was crazy. That was fun, right? Oh, beautiful. and then Darcy Blakesley was down there. Darcy yes. usually watches the show. She does. Where, where is Darcy tonight? Darcy, does. your sweetheart, Chris DePiero, is on. Yeah. Darcy loves you. Get it. No, I don't. I've always that. tried to fix you up with Darcy, but she's in L.A. Yeah, she's in L.A. So, oh, Darlena is watching. Darlena, oh, nice. is that your sister? That's my sister. Yeah. How awesome. <laughs> but, Maria, you're the most adorable of them all. Thank you, Darlene. I disagree. I don't think I'm so adorable. I love adorable. her, Dar. She's awesome. I'm I can't wait to meet your sister. I'm hailed in New Jersey. We all know who Listen, you are. Listen, I Uber in New Jersey. Adorable. Thank you. Thank you. To, you are the most adorable. Yeah, she just... Thank you to Chris DePiro who, who right. gave me the idea that, you know, on, on your spare days, you can Uber a little bit. <laughs> That's right. And I do. Oh, God Kevin knows. Alexander joined. Oh, Hi, my Kevin. God. Oh, my God. Hi, That's Kevin. That's amazing. That he's a very important. So yes. the fact that he has the time to watch the show. Also, Charles Caselli joined us a while back, and we were scrolling Hi. by. And crazy. Charles Caselli has been so wonderful about posting and sharing our show. Yeah. He's so sweet. And he comes and visits me. So shout out to Charles. Kevin uh, Alexander, amazing. Mm -hmm. um, he's the, one of the creators of Tony and Tina, so without him, we wouldn't be here. Connor Weiss has joined us. Hi, Connor. So nice to see you. Um, so a lot of great things are happening. And the, Oh, Dominic Pupa. Do you guys know Dominic Pupa? I don't think so. Oh, my God. You would love each other. Really? Yeah. Dominic Pupa is a Red Sox fan. Uh, no, Dominic, you're probably a Yankee fan, right? Okay. Yeah, let's not forget, we're having a competition right now. Are you, you, you're voting for the Red Sox or the Yankees? We have our shirts on because spring, he, did, he probably is going to say something like, what's spring training? But I don't know, Dominic, you may be into the Yankees. Let us know, folks, Yankees or Red Sox, what are you thinking? Because we want to know. So your sister lives in New Jersey as well? Yes. Is she an actress? No. She's just a fun person? Yeah, she's fun. She's cute. She's my little sister. She's serious. She like always, she's, serious. she's always like, stop it still. Stop behaving. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's funny because my little sister is she's like that with brain. me too. <laughs> yeah. But she laughs at me. She laughs at she's. She was my first audience. You know, like when you're a kid and you say yeah. something funny and then one of your siblings mm -hmm. laughs and you're yeah. like, oh, that felt good. Yeah. And uh, so my sister was definitely my first audience, and she thought everything I said was funny. Mm -hmm. So now she's the funny one. She's really funny and very sarcastic. And uh, But she's still my little sister, so she still is like, you know, she'll try to. She'll always be your little sister, right? Always. Always be my little sister. And she's the corporate one, right? She's serious? She, yeah, she she's corporate. She's a human resources manager. Wow, that's no joke. She's the boss. Well, stop. You <laughs> fell asleep. He knows her. Oh, my he God. put her in his show, so she is an actress. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was in your movie? No. What no. was she in? She played Aunt Rose in Tony Tina's Way. Well, and he directed. Oh, and, and that's right. Let's say, I didn't realize you were a director as well. And she's I mean, London's she, mom, actually. She's she London's director. mom. Wait, so Judy, I, I hope Judy's still on. She, I, I hope she didn't disappear. So Judy, I was telling them about your dog, London. Judy has a beautiful <laughs> King Charles Cavalier named London. And um, uh, you told me that your nephew? My nephew and godson, his name is London. How cool is that? And she yeah. said he's super smart. Yeah, and super awesome. Oh, my God. So Chip Goldrich has joined us. He's in Miami. 
Jip Goldridge, I, McGoldridge I the third. Miami, I'm sorry. I love Miami. Look who's here. Scott Fagan says, let's go Mets. Scotty Fagan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go Mets. I actually like the I Mets. I like the Mets. That's my team. The Mets are pretty cool, i got to say. Help and, me get into Tony and Tina's wedding, Scott. Big influence to get me into this show. Oh, he was Thanks, amazing. Scott. He was the uh, the um, stage manager, the, the best mm-hmm. stage manager. And he was on the ball. He also, we played softball together in the Broadway Show League. And Scotty, I think, was the ended up being like our manager, if I'm not mistaken, uh-huh. right? Very good organizer. Oh, amazing organizer. So we played in uh, the Broadway Show League, and Tony and Tina's wedding played. Uh, Dominic Pupa says, Yanks and Sox, are those queens or drag? See, I knew oh, it. Boy. Are those oh, queens boy. or drag on drag race? <laughs> no, but. Oh. Okay, thank you, Dominic. That's what I thought you'd say. Mm-hmm. Dominic is a very funny comedian and a share aficionado. Really? Yes. Wow. He knows all things share. So if you I need love share. Yeah, who doesn't? Love share. Dominic's I'm gonna have to post Dominic's show on your page when Dominic was on with Lavinia Draper. Wow. wow. Halloween was the Halloween show. So uh, that was one of my favorite I think it's in my top three, Dom. Favorite uh, what's the story with Maria's? All right, so um, Scotty Fagan, we have to have you on the show. Uh, I remember Scotty Fagan before he was married, we were in the Broadway show Bowling League. Mm-hmm. And he and I were on the same team. In the Port Authority? Yes, in the Port Authority. (laughs) And he uh, had a crush on this really cute girl named Jen. And uh, we used to ride home together in a cab after the... And he said, I really like her. I I said, you should ask her out. What the are you waiting for? And uh, anyway, so we used to talk a lot about it. Anyway, now they're married and have three beautiful babies. He has the most beautiful kids. So I, I feel like I was kind of part of that, Scotty. I was kind of part of like, just do it. Go ask her out. Ask her out. And then the rest was you. I had nothing to do with the rest of it. <laughs> you know, I wasn't there on the date. I, you know. You're not- a matchmaker? I do like to match Me make. too. Me really? too. Really? I set up six people to get married and they're still married today. Oh my God. You know what I do like at, at my job because I'm a bartender and a singer and all that stuff. And so I have, I have access to people all the time where I'm talking to someone and I know their story and then I'm talking to someone else. And I, and I realized, oh, you know, they might like each other. Mm-hmm. So I'm really good about introducing people to each other. And then where they go from there, then I detach. So you don't even know how many people that you... I know there's four couples at the duplex that I introduced. Wow. Two of them are married. Wow. And uh, some people come back and tell me years later, like, you introduced us. Because in wow. uh, there was a couple from Finland. Uh, there was Yeah. <laughs> A lot of Red Sox. Come on. I'm telling you. I'm loving this. Rena Cunali, Red Sox. Rena is in Boston, and she's our meteorologist. Rena, we have to... Next storm, you're in. Jeannie Gorm... Uh, for life. For life. For life. Wait, well, how do we used to do it? For life. Uh, that's it. He loved wrestling. Man. He loved it. Oh, my God. Scott Fagan is one of the funniest people. Lavinia groped me that night. Dominic Pupa said that Lavinia... <laughs> You know what? I don't it. No, I do believe it. Of course. Not, I, I don't know. Maybe she didn't know what she was doing. She might have been intoxicated. Actually, when Dominic came in to the studio, he stepped over Lavinia. I didn't realize she was sleeping in, on the stoop, but she was had fallen asleep. She had a few drinks, and Dominic walked over. So she may have. Oh my God! Look, Dominic hashtag me too, because of oh. Lavinia drank. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Dominic, hey, oh it goes my! Both ways, right? it, definitely, of course, it goes both ways. Christopher Crosby has joined us. Oh my God, she wasn't asleep. She took my wallet. Holy mackerel! The things that are coming out now, you know. And after the Stormy Daniels thing, I I believe more people like Dominic will will come forward. Yeah, am I right, Dominic? Dominic, did you did you see the um, Stormy Daniels? I have I'm not going to talk much about it because I I'm trying to ignore all that. <laughs> but um, we have our own show here. But <laughs> never mind the show the show the show on uh, Pennsylvania Avenue. <laughs> However, I will say that when Stormy Daniels, because whatever I could kill us about her, when she did say that, what stuck in my brain was she said that she came out and her friend there I won't even mention his name was perched. <laughs> he was naked and perched, and. I don't know. I can't unthink that. <laughs> Solana, when you think of naked and perched, have you ever known anyone? Does your boyfriend, fiance, <laughs> yeah, like I mean, like, like, yeah, what's perched? What, could you, you reenact that for us? Like Chris? Uh, that's what I'm saying. 
<laughs> hurts to me. <laughs> like a per- that's for- you're in good shape. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't think I could do a. P- I used to be. I was worried that the you're that breaking chair. Don't worry about it. I got a, I got him at IKEA. Don't worry awesome. about it. Yeah. So naked and perched. That so you were really. That was really. So apparently she came out and that's she was naked and perched. I don't know. I, I you know I'm not. I'm trying not to judge. You know, but whatever. Um. So naked and perched. I just wanted to throw that out because that's going to be a hashtag. I might have to put that somewhere. Naked and perched. A lot going on. So Maria, you introduced me. Okay, oh. Scott. Okay, Kevin Scott Collins. Thank you, Maria. You introduced me to someone who became one of my best friends at the duplex. Who was that person, Kevin Scott Collins? Tell us. Uh, Denise fell, I think, of Lance. And Lance is a, a character that me and, and Denise, she played Lola in uh, Birdie's Bachelorette Party. Oh. No. She's the sexologist. Oh, when you were and perched like so. that? Yeah, oh my God, yeah. Yeah. get it. <laughs> oh, Dominic oh. Boba said, please, can you read this? Because I can't the read naked it. Naked and perched is code for he was taking a dump. Oh. <laughs> Listen, some people are, I, I mean, in Berlin, apparently, there's a whole culture for that. So, uh, <laughs> that's a rusty trombone when... Something like that is involved. I don't know. I don't know. Show, right? Listen, we are coming to our the end of our show, which wow. I can't believe because we've had so much fun. Uh, yeah. So you so listen. You get party gifts from me tonight because you are such amazing guests. Come on. You get Maria oh, Gentili CDs <gasps> written wow. and produced by yours this truly, Red so Sox fan. Beautiful. And I think you'll like it. The, I love it. Thank I can't you, wait Savannah. to listen to You know it. what, Savannah? I'm going to give one. Can I give you a hug? Of course. Of course. Thank you. Oh, of so course. sweet. It's so nice. That, thank you so much. You're such a sweet I person. I want to listen to it. All right, Jimmy, how much time we got? 20, 20 seconds. seconds. 20 seconds. Wow. Thank you, Jim Bell. Thank you, Joe Rocks. Thank you, everyone at Armed Radio. We appreciate you. If you're listening to us, please come back. Tuesday nights, 9 p.m. right here. What's the story with Maria? Happy opening day this Happy week. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy, Happy Easter, the greatest comeback of all time. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.